So my name is Morgan Pitts. I'm from the Washington DC metro area and I am the founder and creative uh, in chief of Black Girl to Block. Okay, so what is Black Girls Who Blog? So Black Girls Who Blog is a predominantly online community of Black women in the blogosphere um, and just a place to have Black women who blog seen, heard, celebrated, and validated. What made you decide to start it up? Yeah, so um, when I was in college, my senior year, I had a couple friends who um, were encouraging me to start a blog. And at the time, I wasn't really following blogs. I, were, I was aware of what they were, but I was just like, mm, I wanna focus on graduating. Um, and it just wasn't a priority for me. So when I graduated, I had a friend who was doing pageants and she had asked me to style her for her, um, she needed to get some like new headshots and like expand her portfolio. So I was like, okay, well, if I'm gonna do this, I wanna start a blog because I don't wanna just come out the gate saying I'm styling people. I wanna have kind of like um, something tangible to like show my work and me dressing myself before I say I have clients. So. I started blogging then, my own personal blog, and this is the spring of 2013. And then fast forward a year later, um, April of 2014 is when I, um, accidentally, if you want to call it that, um, just tweeted, and I was like unintentionally tweeted into existence that I would love to have um, Black Girls Who Blog on like a t-shirt. And so it was very aimless and I didn't think anything of it. I just went, sent it out to Twitter and like kept it moving. But then at the time I had like a small community of Black women who blogged that we followed each other and we supported each other's posts and just kind of had like this really tiny community on Twitter. And then a friend of mine, she reached out, she's a fine artist, and she was like, hey, she responded to the tweet and asked if um, an illustration should accompany the um, hashtag, which wasn't really even a hashtag at the time. And so I was like, okay, now I have to make this a thing. So we took the conversation offline. She like sent me a draft of the like OG Black Girls Who Blog logo and I had t-shirts printed. And so that is how Black Girls Who Blog was born. So I started Instagram just to kind of promote the t-shirts and kind of like showcase those. And then when that run kind of died down, I was like, well, okay, I'll just continue posting on this account and like share different black women who blog, who like really, I thought were fly and talented and cool and had like quality work. So that happened. And then I just like started making every day a theme and that gave me like some consistency. So the rest is history. That's amazing. And are you the only person behind it? Do you yes. do all the writing? And Yeah, I do literally I'm... everything. I'm a one woman show. <laughs> so many cool faces and so many people doing so many different things. Um, I guess I'm curious how you find people. Like, how has the community grown since you launched it? Yeah, so when I first started, like I was saying, I was posting bloggers that I was aware of at the time. So it was people who I um, genuinely enjoyed their content. And then as like the hashtag grew and the page grew, um, people were using the the hashtag and tagging the account in their own posts. So now when I go searching for people to highlight on the feed, I literally just have to search through Black Girls Who Blog hashtag on Instagram and look through the tagged photos. And then sometimes people will also like message me um, because they're interested yeah. in being featured and I'll like explain that it's like not a formal process at all like features are selected by using like the hashtag and tagging the photos and like there is like some color color coordination that goes into the selection so like every week like there's a cohesive color theme that's how I go about selecting who's featured and what is the response from the people who are featured do you feel like the community's like sort of growing and people are getting to know each other like through you know, you collecting them together like that? Yeah, um, there's definitely like day ones. And then there's definitely like people who came along kind of like in the middle. And then of course, there's like new people discovering it every day. So I feel like the community is like very dynamic. Like you have people who are still going to like always like hold it down and support who were here all the way back in 2014. And then you have people who are literally just like stumbling across it today. And so they like become immersed and they, you know, want to be a part of it. So I would say it's like all Always changing but the constant is like people are always like so appreciative of being featured and the other thing about it is like there's an element of surprise like I don't tell people they're being featured I like do my own research and then I like 
curate the content I post. So everyone is even more excited when they're featured because they have no idea that it's coming. Like they wake up and they're like, oh my gosh. Okay, numbers wise, how are things looking for the Black Girls Who Blog hashtag? Yeah, so it's funny you ask that because just a few months ago, the Black Girls Who Blog hashtag on Instagram hit 1 million uses. So obviously nice. that some time has passed, so it's grown and it's over 1 million now. So that's like um, a tangible like stat to say and that I'm proud of and that was kind of overwhelming. And then you can obviously see like the following and um, how that's grown and how people interact with the content. Oh yeah, what are some things that you've learned in the process just about this community that maybe you didn't know before you got into it? Um, That so many people have blogs. <laughs> like I just, I don't know, like you just kind of assume that um, only kind of like the more popular bloggers are the ones with blogs and like you don't even realize how many people have their own personal blogs that they um, take very seriously and that they update consistently and put a lot of like time, effort and money into. So I would say it's just endless blogs out there. And I think that's so cool because obviously it gives like more and more content um, to be featured on Black Girls Who Blog, but just like the discovery process is just amazing because there's so many different topics, so many different um, lanes uh, of blogs out there. And people um, who aren't into blogging, they're kind of like, oh, like blogging is dead. And like, they don't really think it's a thing anymore or like worth being a thing anymore. And I kind of just like keep my comments to myself about that. But <laughs> <laughs> like bloggers are out here and it's like a significant deal to me, so. Yeah, and I think it takes, it, it's cool to have people like you who are doing the curating so that you can just sort of like, I feel like you're getting really good stuff and bubbling it up to the top and just like shining a spotlight on it. So yeah. I think that that's like super valuable work in this. Um, Thank you. That's certainly like the intention. So like, I'm glad that you said that because if everyone is like the creator who is like highlighting, you know what I mean? Like who is like the destination for you to like see everyone who's creating. So I like yeah. to be that, like a central 100%. location. Yeah. Um, so I noticed you do a lot of panels. Can you talk about that a little bit? I did two events in New York. One was like a panel with three bloggers, three of the ladies that I've mentioned, just talking about um, how the blogosphere and the internet essentially has given a microphone to like marginalized voices. So that was one event that I did. I did another event um, with Glossier, a beauty brand in New York, and they were uh, launching, um, expanding their shade range of like complexion products. So I did an event with them there. And then most recently I did an event with Jump Rope. So that was like an online Zoom call kind of um, tutorial on how to like make video content. So, yeah. Yeah, Is so is that sort of like what you do on the side as well? I wouldn't say on this side, like I would say it's like an umbrella of Black Rose Who Blog. It's like events for like community members. Um, and I kind of sure. just do them when the opportunity presents itself. So whether it's like someone coming to me like, hey, like would you be interested in doing this? Or if I'm interested and I like pitch the idea, both ways have happened. So yeah, it's just an extension of the brand like in real life versus URL. Good, yeah. Thank you so much for making time for us. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate this.